So what is up? If you are trying to figure out how to make settings inside of Roblox Studios, this is actually very, 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 very simple. Um, first off, we're going to be using my website linked in the description, which will have the code. So you can just copy and paste it over for the base part that we're going to be using in this video. So first things first is inside of Roblox Studios, there's only one thing you need to do. Now, obviously, most tutorials are probably going to have you do a bunch of crap like create UI, you know, make this screen UI, make it something weird. No, we're not doing any of that. This is actually even easier. And this is all going to be using code, which will make your life way easier. And this is also going to not only work better, but it's also going to save you a ton of time. So starting off, the first thing is you're going to head on down to the description if you want to use this code, which will be once again linked in the description on my website. That'll be this one right here. All you got to do is come down. It'll explain a briefly all the information about it and you'll just copy the code boom as simple as that now once you have copied the code you're going to come on in to roblox studios now you're going to come on down to starter player scripts don't mind anything else this is all from another previous video but you're going to come on down into starter player scripts and just add a local script now the one first thing you do need to do is rename this to settings ui and then you're just going to paste in all of this now it's pretty much as simple as that also make sure you rename it to uh settings ui capital uh i um, yeah. So inside of this script, we're going to be using a few basic settings. So the first one is going to be a low graphics mode, which is going to remove all complex graphics and details visually. The second one is going to be high brightness and the second or third one's going to be high contrast. Now, obviously the UI visually isn't fancy. And another thing to note is if this video does get 10, not 10,000, that's too many. This video does eventually, you know, get to like, I'll say 500 likes. If we can get this video to 500 likes, make sure you send this to your friend, send this to your mom, send this to your dog, get them to like it. I will start recreating this video. And in alongside that, the script, I'll make a part two where I will fancy it up and do whatever changes in the settings you would like to see. If not, make sure you do leave a comment. But so inside of this UI, I do have a bit of an explanation for some of the things in it. So we have the basic services you need and the color correction utilities, all these things. I did make sure to include these different sections just so you know what you're looking at. So we're looking at a very, very basic UI. Obviously, if you do want to change this up a bit yourself, you can, but this is the core function. So inside of the settings, now you see why I mean this is very basic, very minimal. We got high brightness, we got high saturation, as you can see the color change and the low graphics mode. So this takes away all basic graphics doesn't change anything you can know you can reset and you will keep all of these low graphics now you can flicker them on and off you know and it does actually adjust it but this does work very very well and once again this will be on my website linked in the description but if this did help you out make sure to leave a like and if you do want any changes to this make sure to leave a comment down below once again if we hit 500 likes i will change it make a part two make it even better but thank you so much for watching and i will